Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Poncho back at it again with another banger of a video. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys end up subscribing to the channel. Today, we're with a special guest right here, Julian the Barbarian. <laughs> I like what's... the Barbarian, so, man. I like how you can. How'd you come up with that, though? Is it just off nah, the vibe? Nah, it's just, it's just off the vibe. Like, I, whatever comes up first in my mind. That's my favorite thing about you. Bro. Yeah, like how you be coming up with nicknames or just little, little, little like, phrases. Yes, bro. That's my favorite thing. For sure. You. But if you want to introduce yourself, so People who don't anybody who doesn't know who you are or where you came from or what you do so what you do all right yo guys i'm the julian barboza i'm from san antonio texas i just moved to la like five or five or four months ago Damn. um and i'd say i'm a content creator but i've been kind of taking a break you know kind of waiting to reinvent myself uh -huh. but uh right now i do a podcast and i have fans damn okay, so okay. What I'm so you doing. haven't been doing too much like youtube videos huh not yet, but uh, YouTube has always been my passion, and uh, you know I think I'm really good at it. I've just yeah. that's why I'm not too worried about taking a break because I know what to do to okay build it up. And uh, right now you have like a little podcast going on. What's yes. that? What's what's your podcast? So it's called the Wild Podcast, and basically we talk about wild shit. You know what I'm saying? Controversial shit, um, a bunch of shit that a lot of people be scared to talk about. Yeah, and we're not really worried too much about uh, being monetized like or getting canceled because yeah. we do the. Only fans thing Damn. so uh, kind of like with my agency everything's kind of connected and we we just bring on a bunch of guests and talk about a bunch of uh, so you have someone who's running your your business for the oh uh, yeah we have a manager like okay. he's like super smart and shit okay yeah. so how did you start um how'd you start like getting viral what would you say is like your, your first one hold on let me turn on this light right here damn i feel like i've had like different stages of my career to be honest like i've been doing this shit for like four five years yeah yeah i think i started in 2019 what would you say was like your your main thing that popped you because there's, there's a video for me i know uh, of course there's a video for me that popped off but what would you say was your like bro but i've had different stages though like yeah i feel like that. i had my my stage where i went live on you now which is like i don't know if you know what you know is, but it was like a live streaming platform and okay. i was doing that and then um i blew up on youtube for my hair videos so that was a whole nother era yeah and then You're like a barber or nah i just got my hair done and everything oh, so okay, like, yeah, yeah it's a bunch of dude followers yeah um and then i blew up on tiktok just for being like a uh, pretty boy thirst traps and shit oh okay and then <laughs> and then i started doing youtube and that was a whole yeah. nother era and then back to tiktok and then now i'm doing the podcast and i'm gonna blow up off the podcast so it's just like okay. i feel like with social media bro like you always got to reinvent yourself you can't yeah do the yeah, same yeah. Shit. That, that's exactly why i started moving into interviews because i was feeling like if i stay on cheese man mm -hmm. it's gonna do good but it's not like if you want to elevate and right. go to the next you always have to find the right. next the next thing you and know i feel saying? like too every time that i thought i was like popping or whatever like there's always like a higher yeah like you can go more viral and be more known so it's like it's just seasons that's what yeah I call them. for sure damn it's raining too oh, we got the nice weather going on okay so look the first question i got here is um well, a lot of people are wondering about little yeah. jurors. I know you can see right here. You're yeah, yeah. looking at the questions. You can't look at the questions. Hey, little jurors, though. The first, you, she was your first, I guess, maybe social media um, girlfriend, no? So, look, man. I, I'm going to be very transparent. Yeah. I'm not going to be on here dogging um, her and shit because, you know, she was very respectful and everything. We don't yeah. have drama. But I will address it because it's a piece of history and shit, yeah, right? Yeah. For the viewers. So, um, nah, she was never my girlfriend. We were actually friends. Um, and we had a content house. It was here in LA, out, okay. out in the Hollywood Hills. And um, we would film content together and shit, and people really shipped us. And you know how the internet... I could yeah. post with any girl, and people were like... You guys look good. You guys Right, like, yeah. even you could post with a girl. Yeah. Think, you know, so, like, that's just what happened. And people wanted to see us together, and it didn't happen. But every, a lot of people assume if they see people filming together, yeah, they're yeah. together. But nah, that was never my girlfriend, you know. Um, she was just my friend. Okay, so I, I did ask, my next question was here, like, why'd you guys, I mean, you guys didn't break up because you guys weren't dating. But okay, why did we was, fall out? Yeah, why was the fallout? Okay. Damn, man, this is a long time. This is three years ago. This yeah, happened yeah. in 2020, but yeah. this is kind of my first ever thingy in L.A., so... Um, why did we fall out? Fuck. Um, I think... Fuck. <laughs> be honest, be honest. Bro, I'm trying to remember, hey, though. I'm trying to remember. There's just, like, so many things. Like, okay, one, like, 
we're just in different stages in our life. Like she barely. How old were you and how old was she? She was seventeen. I was nineteen. Okay. So like, first of all, I really couldn't even work. Like, yeah. Really, like I'm about to be a twenty, and she's you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I um, that. but what's it called? Um, like I had been moved out. I had been living my life as shit, and uh, she just, she just um. She just came to LA, you know, she was still like wanting to explore and shit. And me, I just wanted to work, 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 work. Yeah. Um, dang. Saying this kind of sounds like another situation, but um I don't know. It was just it was a content house and we were there to make content and yeah. I think things kinda got like Maybe you guys were both like if you're packs. around a girl, bro. If you're around a girl all the time, like yeah. they're eventually gonna catch feelings. Yeah. And I learned that I didn't know that at the time, but like if you're around a girl a lot, like you know what I'm saying? Like, even though y'all are just friends, yeah. like, feelings are going to happen. So, uh, and whenever you, as a man, I feel like you got to tell them, like, yo, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. So, like, that kind of, how does a girl feel? You know, she's going to feel bad and shit, and shit's going to fall out. But, now I really don't got a problem with her. Um, and That's I don't, always my I, next I, question here. If you had, like, some sort of beef or... No, 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 no. I don't have no beef with her. I actually really, um, I know there's, like, drama and shit in the past, and I was very immature. But yeah. about them, um, like... There was a whole bunch of drama with her and her family, but no, I actually really respect them and what they do. And um, so you're kind of just over, and you still kind of have like some sort of respect for her. I, I do have respect for them, you know. And I'm a, I put this out there. I never put this out there, but uh, I would want to like squash everything and um, you know, kind of move on from it because we both do the same thing. And I realized a lot, and I was pretty immature at that time. And I just really, my whole thing at that time was I wanted to move to LA, and I was gonna do anything. I didn't want anything to stop me from moving to LA. Yeah. So. But now I'm in LA now, so it's kind of like. So, so what would you say your 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 relationship was with her family, the Jay Cook family? Because um, I don't know if you saw that one one of the boyfriends got jumped. He did. Huge event. My mom's right here. I was had an event. Justice Cook came in here, really tried to fight me. Or I don't know who she was talking to, but I forgot his name exactly. But he he one of them got jumped by by the Jay Cook family. And I thought that was you until I did my research right before this oh, interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was another boyfriend. Yeah, yeah it was another guy. Um, and I just feel kind of wary talking about super shit in the past, but look, I'm going to just be real. Yeah. Um, How do I feel about their family, man? I respect them. Like I said, I got a lot of respect for them. They're hustlers and, um, you know, it's a lot of intertwinings and a lot of, like, politics and shit. But yeah. um, I don't got no problem with them, man. They do... Uh, they do their their thing i do my thing and we you know we had a, a moment and shit and uh -huh. it just kind of moved on but i don't got no problems with them i know they probably don't like me they all hate yeah. me but um and i get why um but, but you you would assume like you would want them to meet like the new you exactly yeah. yeah i'm like grown now like yeah. bro that was three years ago like yeah. they've changed we all changed you yeah. know i'm not gonna be the That's same right. person in six months so that yeah i do want to address that yeah man i do would want to squash everything with them um and you know fix everything else. okay so now we're moving on to to rosa the buttercup over here yeah. well first of all how did the, that even come up who's the one that thought of the buttercup was that you or her or she thought of the buttercup nah, it's actually funny as fuck nobody knows see i love when people call me buttercup yeah like, basically <laughs> that was my girlfriend calling me yeah, like, yeah no, our I feel love that. Names, you guys so have like, your, your own names. right so i have all these people calling me buttercup it's like damn do y'all want to date me or yeah, what yeah, like yeah. why y'all saying this shit but now nah, <laughs> so i'll tell you how buttercup started so basically yeah um her and she had a friend okay and she would be calling her buttercup or i think they would call each other buttercup or some shit like I'm a like, best friend like a girl no? yeah i was like okay. what the fuck is this buttercup shit and then i think i was getting like triggered and mad about it and then she started calling me it, and i was just like all right well whatever like maybe Did you I'll... like it though be honest be honest do i like buttercup with her when she was calling you buttercup do i like it i mean it's just a name <laughs> oh it don't really turn me on i want to yeah, be yeah, called yeah, something yeah. like fucking daddy or some shit okay, or like okay. not fucking buttercup but like <laughs> it, it worked you know like yeah, yeah, for yeah. me it was like it hooked all the viewers fuck with it like they call me that shit i just think like it worked like, okay so it's how is different. It, it's different so how is it that you guys met what was it like you guys what was the, um, the meaning for your for relationship you because you used to live in what is it who's houston or texas uh, san antonio yeah so how is that you guys met uh how do we meet we were friends for like we were internet uh, friends, I guess. Like, we would, we found each other on TikTok and we just come So you'd be, like, it. swiping up and saying TikTok yeah. crush? I wouldn't say TikTok okay. crush, but I'd just be commenting. Because, like, for me, in the past, I would just comment on everybody's shit just to, like, connect with everybody. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just to show support. You know, like, oh, I seen your shit. If it's funny, I'm a comment. Or just to say some funny yeah, shit. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I was, I, was do I was single, you know what I'm saying? I never had a girl. So I was just doing all that shit. And then uh, me and her were cool. Like, we, we clicked um we talked a lot and we were just friends and shit and uh i was traveling at the time and i was doing my thing i was seeing a bunch of people and networking and collabing and shit um i think i just how do we meet um 
you slid in her DMs or she's nah, like, yeah, I definitely st actually I think no, nah, okay. So what happened was, um, like a little hard eyes she sent. Or nah, what? I was I was going <laughs> I was doing a little tour. I was hitting all the cities and shit in yeah. Texas because I just moved from LA, um, and the drama just happened. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna lay low for a little bit. I'm gonna travel, do what I do. Yeah. Um, and I was in Houston, and I texted her. I was like, yo, I'm in Houston. I knew she lived in Houston. I haven't met her. I was like, yo, I'm here. Like, and it was her birthday. Yeah. But uh, she was actually with some dude at the time, so like we couldn't hang out and shit. So yeah. I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, and then some time happened and then we met, we finally met and, uh, things clicked and I think we, we vibed and, uh, fuck man, everything's documented on YouTube, like yeah. the whole journey. So like really? when I first met her, yeah, the first day I ever met her, Damn. everything's on YouTube. So like really like, I just go back and look at if I really want to remember, but now we met at the fair and, um, I don't know. We were really good friends at first. That's why I think we got along. How long were you guys friends until it moved on to a relationship? She... I ain't going How long did lie. it take for you, take for you to be like, damn, I kind of want to date this girl? Okay, how long? I'll, I'll break it down real quick. So how yeah. long we were friends? But we were friends for a while. Yeah. Because like it didn't make sense for me to be like I didn't really know her type shit like, um, but we were friends. But she would like see me like doing my things on the internet like being, but I would be posting with other people or like yeah. collabing and shit. And obviously we weren't together, so she'll feel some type of way and shit. Um, but me, I don't know. I'm gonna be cocky, but like I'm just a different motherfucker I don't individual know she, huh? yeah i don't know if she ran into a dude like me so she didn't know like you know like i'm different like i'll be traveling i'll be doing shit yeah, she's yeah. probably just dealing with local dudes that don't be traveling don't yeah. got shit going on so i'm gonna do what I, I gotta work you know what i'm saying i'm a businessman just like i mean i'm assuming you are yeah yeah and um but i went on tour i had a tour coming up so i we was probably friends for like a cool like okay so i moved out in march or Got kicked out of March, April. You got kicked out? May. Now the the house ended. Oh, okay, the content okay. house. The lease. Ended. Yeah, yeah. So we were probably friends for like. I was traveling for three months and then I had tours. So after, so like six months. For real? Yeah, we were friends for like six months. We would talk on the phone and shit. And was she it? would be doing her thing too. Mm -hmm. She would be flirting with dudes. Like yeah. I, I'm a name drop him too. She'd be, um, she would be flirting with like Gabe when he was alive and shit. Uh, other motherfuckers. Wait, is that the guy that's dating a girl now? No, nah, the dude that got whacked. Like he he uh he got in a car accident. Oh and he died. I don't know about too much. He was like a big influencer. Yeah. And he was like moving heads and shit. I don't know why. This is what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Like, influencers need to know how to monetize. Yeah. But he was moving heads. You know what that is, right? Like a coyote. Yeah, okay. like a coyote. Yeah, yeah. And then he fucking crashed and he died. Damn. Yeah. So rest in peace to him, but. So what was one thing that you loved about her and then one thing that you hated about her? Like, what was one thing that you loved about her and then something that you hated about her? <laughs> Miss Rosa. Bro, there's really not much to say I liked about her, you know? Really? Okay. But I'm, how long did you date her, though? A year and six months. Damn. What did I like? Bro, honestly, I look, it was my first relationship, so, like... So, Jersey was, really, was nothing, right? I was just, like, nah, more we like... Friends. Okay, okay. We were friends. That was my first ever, like... Yeah, we were really good friends. Okay. Um, what's it called though? We were friends and she caught feelings. That's what happens, you know. Wait, I want to ask you, man. Do you think uh like people could just be friends and like shit not happen? Like, do you think guys and girls could be friends? I think I don't think so because one eventually is it's it? either the guy or the girl. One or the other is gonna en end up catching feelings. Mm -hmm. Especially if you guys are hanging out. I don't. I mean, the yeah. way you, the, the way, way I do, yeah, like yeah. you're hanging out every single day. So uh, you're ten. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it's you or, or the other party, but you're right. ten to to get feelings. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It, you can't stay as friends. That's my personal opinion. You know? Yeah. And I I I didn't know that. But I was young. I didn't know yeah, that yeah. shit. And that's what something that I feel like a lot of people don't realize is like. I'm gonna get into the question. Yes, yeah. But like this relationship with me and her, bro, I'd never been in a relationship in my entire life. For real? Ever. I never had a girlfriend. Damn. So like I'm still learning. I didn't know how to love, how to do shit, how what are the boundaries? Like every bro, nobody knows. Nobody yeah, yeah, teaches yeah. you how to be in a relationship. Exactly. The only way I feel like you know how to be in a relationship is by looking at your parents. And for me, I own I have my mom's a single mom, so I didn't see that whole dynamic yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm still learning. Her, on the other hand, she been in relationships. And I think it's very important for y'all to ask, like, yo, uh, partner, how many relationships, how they've been in. And yeah, was, yeah. I didn't, whatever. So she had more experience than me. And uh, I hope, I mean, I knew it was going to be a learning experience. But one thing that I liked or loved about her, um, <laughs> fuck, it was man. the manx, though. The manx, manx, manx. Nah, <laughs> hell no, nah, bro. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. 
Um, fuck, bro. Honestly, damn. there has to be one thing you love. Obviously, bro, you dated like her for so long. It's like there's so much bad shit that it like blinds me about the oh, good okay, shit. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she couldn't cook. Damn. Um, Come on, Rosa. What you doing, Rosa? Bro, Come on. Like, damn. She can say a lot about me too, though. But like, I'm sure. Fuck, I'm sure she can. I, I don't. I mean, could she though? I'm kidding. Um, fuck. I mean, she, I think looking back, yeah. I think she like. I love that everything happened because it made me into a better person. But yeah. one thing that I, I guess she was loyal. I okay. think that's really why. Like, I mean, I assuming she was. She might come out and say, "Nah, I was cheating on him." But with your best friend, right? Yeah, that's some dumb shit. But like, yeah. that's honestly one thing that I really like. Um, I think she was very loyal and like she listened to me yeah. and like I appreciated that. You know, I feel like um, I'm a very business minded person. I'm very smart and I know a lot of things that are possible and things I could do. I just yeah. need people that are gonna listen to me. And I think in the beginning. Um, she was very like good at that and then uh, like as the relationship went on I feel like respect is a very big thing and I feel like the respect went down and if there's no respect then yeah. what's the point of relationship but uh, I think things were very good in the beginning and I think the viewers knew that and I think once you move in with somebody actually yeah whenever we moved in together I feel like that's kind of when things just went down so was it that you guys you guys publicized your whole relationship like on YouTube, yeah. like documented the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't think uh, that was like I don't think that's Healthy. a bad thing. I mean, honestly, me, I like being in the public eye. Yeah, like yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing. Obviously, there's pros and cons, but like, like my I've been doing this shit. I've been getting hate. So like, I feel like you're gonna get judged on everything you do. Yeah. But I don't know. I need as my partner, I need you to be mentally strong enough to not give in to their hate and comments. And okay, all that shit. I feel that. Um, and then one good thing, oh, that was the good thing, right? Yeah, yeah. so one bad, or like, I'm sure you have a few bad things, but what was like the, the, maybe some, the number one reason that upset you maybe about the whole relationship? Fuck, man. <laughs> one thing that upset me, all right, I'm a hungry motherfucker. Like, I yeah. love working. I'm very ambitious. Like, if you ask people around me, they're like, yo, Julian, your drive, your work ethic, like, you just always want to do better. Like, yeah. I always just want to conquer and do more, do more, do more. What's next? What's next? What's next? And um, I feel like she didn't have that energy at all. Like, bro, I don't even want to say too much. But just like, if I'm giving you an opportunity to make tens of thousands of dollars and it takes you like less than 15 minutes to do something, like, yeah. why are you not doing it? You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, like thousands of dollars. A yeah. lot of people like would wish to be in your situation and you don't you're lazy, you know what I'm saying? You don't yeah. want to do that shit. So like why am I gonna be with somebody that doesn't match my energy that's fucking lazy? Like, how am I gonna get to where I want to in the world if and you're my partner, like if you're not gonna be in the same page as me, like Yeah. Like the that, same grind mode, is that exactly, what you're saying? Yeah, okay. she, it just didn't match. And that's not her fault. Like she shouldn't, you know, if she doesn't wanna be like that, that's on her. But yeah. For me, that's my standards. That's my requirements. And if you can't do that, then you got to go. Okay. So how is it that, that um, you guys broke up? Like, what was the, the breaking point? Because I think I saw a little bit about it when I was covering it. That like you guys, yeah. someone was cheating. She was cheating, allegedly. And you saw her at a club or with some yeah. guy. Yeah. All right. I'll break it down for you. So look, man, I want to clear this up, actually. And I'm going to say this straight to the fucking camera. right? Yeah. So everybody can fucking hear this shit. Okay. Everybody accuses me of a cheater. Okay, and I never cheated on her. You no, know, that was the number one question too. Did you cheat on Jersey? No, Did you cheat on Rosa? No, I never cheated, bro. Look, okay. this is my thought process. But if I'm gonna get her, she was loyal to me. Yeah. Like really, like I truthfully believe she was. If I'm gonna be in my first ever relationship, why am I gonna cheat on somebody? Like I want to see this actually work and play out and do everything right. Okay. This is my first one. Why would I fuck it up? Um, and so back to the whole breakup thing. I this is where the cheating comes from. So yeah. I I broke up with her. Okay. Right? I don't think nobody, like, catches that. I broke up with her. She didn't break up with me. I manned up and said, yo, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. I'm going to break up with you. Okay. Um, So I did that. I go back home, and I needed some space. You know what I'm saying? You just broke up. Like, yo, we need to think. So, and I go to the club, and I hang out with this girl, and we do shit. Yeah. Right? Obviously, we're broken up. So you guys are already seeing what this point. Yes. Okay. I go back. She goes to my fucking phone. And sees that I hung out with this bitch and thinks that I, you know what I'm saying? She knows that I fucked her. Yeah. So in her mind, that's cheating. And that's where the accusations of me cheating comes from. So when you posted, because I remember on live, you posted like a video of her. So, okay, well, I'll, I'll keep going down the story. Line. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that happens, right? Yeah. And um, her biggest thing was like, I was going to cheat on her in the relationship. Like she never trusted yeah. me at all. Ever, ever, ever. She thought I was going to cheat on her. 
um like she always question why too like why would why i would settle down with her um this and this and that like very insecure yeah um damn i feel like i'm dogging her but i'm just stating facts bro no, these yeah, are facts sure. like yeah. it matters You're, this is your side you know what I'm yeah saying? this is facts yeah um whatever so she never trusted me so the time that i cheated on her like the, it was game over but whatever we tried to get back together and um she said she was gonna get over it i was like bro the only way we're gonna be together is if you get over this shit um that happened because you know it's gonna linger on and it's not healthy whatever yeah so she said she was and my dumb ass fucking decided yo like two weeks later yo let's go to the club my brother and sister da, 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 da. she's not healed from it so we go to the club and she's drunk and at the time, she couldn't handle her alcohol, so she like decides to like make me jealous and go dance with another dude. So while you were there, while I was there, the been done after this. In my section, at my club <laughs> oh, that I spend money for in front of my friends, like for real? yeah, Damn. right. And then, so that's why I saw the video. You were like, hey, yeah. hey, Rosa's right here, Rosa. Yeah, I was like, bro, if if some shit comes <laughs> out, the reason why I recorded because I was like, bro, if some shit comes out, I'm gonna look like the dumb of like the, like I'm the issue when yeah. she's the one that did this shit. Yeah. Um, like if we broke up, I'm gonna show the internet why. Yeah. Um, which might be bad, but I'm just like I'm being real, bro. It's facts. Like, yeah. Um, what's it called? And and that dude actually had a girlfriend, and that video came out, and he lost his girlfriend. Ooh. So like he fucked up. So too. both of them were They're double. fucking dumb. Yeah. Yes, bro. People are dumb as shit. Um, anyways, so that happened, and then, fuck, I hate bringing all this up, because I really don't want this, but, yeah. um, basically, for the final straw for me, was, remember, I go back to the whole respect thing, yeah. um, I never laid my hands on her, that night when we left in the Uber from the club to go back to the house, she fucking, boom, Krishan rocked me and shit, Damn. and, uh, it was like some blue face and Krishan rock shit, I never hit her, but, like, uh -huh. she, like, hit she me. She was aggressive? Uber. Yeah, she, nah, I mean, more than aggressive, she fucking put her hands on me and shit, which, for me, if, if, if you put your hands on somebody, like, that just shows you don't respect them. Yeah. So, for me, I didn't really, like, that just showed me your actions speak, spoke for yourself, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, um, if my girlfriend put, my, put her hands on me, she's not my girlfriend. Anymore. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was the final straw. Mm, okay and then um chill so so who who brought it i mean you brought who brought it to social media first it was you she or did. oh she, she did. did so look man once we broke up whatever whatever i don't i don't i was like whatever bro but this is how everything this is how the drama started and actually before we get into it man what do you think like was some of the craziest drama this year uh well recently right now the like i told you the jenny 69 is pretty hot because mm. she got jumped she oh, got jumped shit. by like she, you know they thought she was a chola and she she wasn't a chola and she's just trying to do her music video and she got jumped um what else this year like this year as a whole i think one thing that was kind of shocking to me was a pay cut you see a pay cut no what happened that she was kind of like like i think around in la too like mm -hmm. uh like homeless really so I, I don't know if it was because maybe the the the, the hero situation maybe got yeah. to her and, and i'm and i hope she you know she's doing better now but mm. so, something when i saw her in the street i kind of felt bad because i was like you know she was this successful tiktoker right. and then some some dude i don't really think she was homeless bro i think maybe like somebody threw well, her shit out and was well, she really homeless i don't know if she was homeless or not there's but, no way bro. she's but, a but but i felt bad because you know the guys that were recording her were kind of like bullying her in a oh sense. yeah i saw like, that I yeah, saw yeah. That. so they're kind of like oh what is this girl doing in my car like you know so i think that was another big thing but there's a there's been so much cheese mess so. yeah no nah, man i feel like the drama for me it lasted like a month yeah like all of march my goal every day was like damn that's troll the internet. Okay. Um, but how did they? She brought that shit to the internet. So we went to the club, right? Mm -hmm. It was like uh, we were broken up, and it was my. We still live together. It was so yeah. weird, bro. We lived together though. Obviously, she moved out. Of so my after house. she she did the whole club situation. After she hit you, yeah, that was like it was the raps. House. Yeah, it was raps. Yeah, we're going back to the same house. Damn. But after that, it was raps. I was like, bro, you put your hands on me. I'll never, if I put my hands on you, I'd be on fucking TikTok exactly. looking like Chris Brown and shit. Yeah. Fuck no. So that's whatever that happened. Then whatever we're done. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. Yeah. Um, and me, like, I've been... I introduced her to the club scene. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, yeah you got her into I, the instance. Yes, bro, for okay. real. Like, <laughs> my first ever time partying and clubbing was in Miami. Like, yeah. that's where I lost my shit. Like, and my... I don't know if you've been to Miami. Have you been to Miami? No, I haven't been to Miami. Okay, well, that's, like, the top of the top. Yeah? Like, you haven't been to Cancun? Cancun is I pretty... haven't been to Cancun. Okay, like, well, if you go to Cancun, that's... I know, I've seen those stories and yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I love going to Mexico. Mexico yeah. is where it's at. But uh, Miami's lit, and uh, yeah. that's where I, I really figured out everything. Yeah. Nightlife and shit. 
whatever we go we go to the same club this i i don't i didn't know she was going but i was like already on my table book we were getting like hella bottles and shit and then i posted my story that i'm going she swiped some she's like yo y'all going and i was like yes i guess they were going too she already booked her table so i was like all right bro fuck it like we're still going <clears throat> i get into the club i don't know where the fuck she's at we got hella table i mean when you go to the club and you get Depending on how many bottles you get is yeah. like where your section is going to be. We got hella, so we got a nice section. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck they was at. Um, And, bro, we invited like, I'd say like 30 people, 40 people in our section. We had like four sections total. Yeah. So it was like hella girls, hella dudes. And I was turning up. It was my first time like being single and shit out, yeah, of, yeah. out of relationships. So I was like, let me show you how we do it. Like, yeah. Invited hella girls, the whole roster out, whatever, whatever. Um, And I was doing my thing. And then I got a sign and it just said her loss, which I feel like that's not bad. Like, you know, it's not too disrespectful, but yeah. it's like, damn, she lost me type shit. And Drake just dropped his album called Her Loss. So yeah, like, it's cool. So who sent that sign? I got it. Oh, OK. So you, OK. But I didn't I didn't know where the fuck she was at the club the whole time. I yeah. did not know where the fuck she was. And then it happens to be that they're behind me, like to the right and shit on the <laughs> wall, like right. outside, like basically on the edge of the club. I'm yeah. not looking at the edge of the club. I'm looking for new hoes and shit. Um, but, uh, what's it called? She was with the dude and, uh, her and this dude was like making out and shit, doing whatever at the club. I didn't see them. I think yeah. she was trying to make me jealous, but I didn't see them. So like, I didn't even know. The only reason why I found out is because her friend recorded and posted it on her story. Damn. So if your like, bro, your friend, like the internet knows who your friend is. And you, is this when you guys are still living together? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like she's doing all this shit, yeah. like fucking other dudes, and we're still living together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Still a weird, right? But anyways, um, they did that. It posted on a story. It gets clipped. It goes on TikTok. I'm fucking sorry, but like, bro, you your friend posted that shit. Like, yeah. I wasn't gonna post anything about the. I was, I was yeah. cooling, bro. I don't want drama. You're doing your own thing, right? But your friend makes me look bad. Records y'all doing that, and then records me in my section, like just trying to make drama. So yeah. I'm like, all right, bro, if you want to make drama, then I'll fucking make drama. And then that's how everything started. Damn, okay. So, so it wasn't me. Yeah, so she, she started that, it too. Yeah, she's the, she instigated a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So are you ever going to pay Rosa back? That's a question bro, that I was getting right, a lot. I addressed this in my fucking YouTube video, yeah. and I'll address it again, bro. <laughs> so look, man. Oh, it's all on YouTube. It's all documented. Yeah. Um... And I see, I saw it too, but I just want to know. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your so now look, opinion. Yeah, so look, yeah, my opinion now, I got some shit to say, bro. Here you go, get your clip. Okay. So look, <laughs> I made a video and I was basically explaining how um, I got a car under my name because she didn't have no credit. Yeah. She was going to pay for it. She was supposed to pay it off in like a year. Okay. She was making a hell of good money with me. Yeah. Um, and uh, she was paying it. Obviously, we break up, we split. So what are we going to do with the car now? The car's in my name, but you're paying it. Can you get it switched over to your name? Mm -hmm. She has no credit. And I remember you made a video, too, where you just kind of like, you gave her a, basically like a timeline where you were just yeah. like, like, get it, figure it out. Right. I was being nice because I, I could have just been an asshole, give me the car back. But yeah. I was like, I know you don't have credit. Build your credit. Okay. Do everything you can. Get a credit card. Trying to level her up. Yeah. I've been trying to do that anyway, um, the whole time. Um, and she was like, all right, but she would just be partying, clubbing after we broke up. She, her mindset was not on trying to get her car back. She didn't want it enough. Yeah. So, um, she was, I gave her like eight months, six, six, eight months. Yeah. Um, and then she, the final straw, she, she didn't get her credit up, whatever. She, nobody in her family could fucking sign for it, co-sign for mm -hmm. it. So like, I just, I just think that shows how valuable co-signing for a car is. Like yeah. nobody will fucking do that for you. Um, whatever. Final straw. She crashes the fucking car. I'm like, bro, all right, bro. I can't trust you with this car yeah. under my name. You crashed my car. Yeah. And that's when I think you, you mentioned, too, that she was drunk driving. Is that? Yeah. She, okay. So she goes. Everybody knows this. She posts all the time. Like, her her only... Her life is fucking go to the club every fucking day, lay in bed all day, and fucking vape and make TikToks. Like, yeah. that's her fucking life. Like, that's y'all's role model. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, like, damn. Um, and I feel bad because I introduced her to the fucking nightlife and shit. Yeah. And now she's just stuck in that hamster wheel, that trap oh, of like yeah. going out. But eventually you fall out of that, you know what I'm saying? I, so I, I don't I think, know, bro. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, there's grown yeah. ass women that still be doing That's that. True. Like, there's nothing to do in that city other than party. That's why I moved from there. Yeah. Um, I like to work, man. I'm here to make money. Yeah, I'm yeah, a yeah. business, man. That club shit is always going to be there. Like this working opportunity shit is not. Yeah. So, um, whatever. She crashed my car. All right. 
I'm like, fuck, bro. Now I have to take back the car. Yeah. All right. And I want to make a disclaimer. I didn't put this in my YouTube video, but I'm, I'm assuming she's making all these payments. Uh -huh. There's an app um, that you make the payments and shit. Uh -huh. I wasn't logged in when I got my car back. Um, I go in the app and I can show you right now, actually. Oh, dang. Um, I go in the app and it says that there's two missed fucking payments. So you had to pay it? So I had to pay it, bro. Damn. She didn't pay While it. she was driving the car. Yes, bro. And it's her car, right? So, yeah. bro, she didn't pay it in fucking April and in August. Damn. Look, I'm going to show you right now just so you know I'm not capping. For sure. Recent transactions, August and April failed and failed. Damn. Right? And it says I still got to pay $1,101. So, cause she missed two payments. Yeah. Right. I'm over here thinking she's paying the car. She yeah, crashes yeah. my car, not making the payments, and then she's asking me for money. Yeah. So now let me explain. Let's see if this makes sense to you. Right? Yeah. So say you're renting a car, right? You pay them to use the car, right? And then her logic is like, all right, I give you the car back now. Give me the money back because I gave you the car back. Yeah. That's not how it works. Like if you're making payments on a car, you're driving it, you're putting on all these miles, you're doing everything in your yeah. car. Like she maintenance want, and all exactly, that. Exactly. Like you're wearing tear on the car. She wants me to pay, reimburse. reimburse her for all her payments. That's not how it fucking works, bro. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. So, no. She, and she wants me to pay her like 5K, bro. I'm not going to pay her. It cost me already 3K to get the car fixed after uh -huh. she crashed it. You what, did, was, what was a crash? Like, what was the, the bro, main? Bro, her the fucking dumbass. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> she no. was doing, bro. But she was fucking driving, drunk. Yeah. Um... I, we hadn't been talking. It was two months, no contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, and I guess her dumbass just grabs the steering wheel and fucking ganks it left and crashes into the fucking wall and tries to kill her. I, okay, so that's what I was seeing in your video. So her whole... I thought that she crashed because she was just drunk, right? But, nah. but, but it was because she was she wanted to take her own life. Yes. Yes, bro. And she failed, bro. And it's not the only time, <laughs> bro. And it's not the only time that she tried to pull that bullshit on me where she's trying to, like, kill herself. And I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm yeah, saying that's it, serious. Like, that's a serious topic. Bro, but, like, yeah. bro, you can't be doing that. Like, yeah. that's a, that's evil. That's manipulative. Like, just to get my attention. Yeah. To admit, like, bro, that's some little kid. No, shit. and there's, there's guys that do that a lot to girls. Yes, where they're they like, do oh, that. well, if you that's, don't like me, I'm, I'm a, you know. Yes, that's fucked up, bro. Yeah. Like, and for me, it's like, damn, if she would have killed herself, bro, I'm going to look like the bad guy. I'm going to be like, oh, it's your fault that she died or some shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. I mean, in your opinion, bro, if if she crashed and killed herself, what do you think is gonna be on TikTok? Then it's gonna be Julian the Barbarian. You exactly, know, bro. Caused like, caused this accident. You know exactly. So that's why I'm trying to help you not yeah, kill yeah. yourself. Go give me the car back so you can't crash into the fucking wall. <laughs> but no, nah, she just yanked it into the wall, crashed. I don't know what the fuck like was going through her head yeah. and shit. So what was the mechanical issues that you had to fix? Towards bro, it was twenty two thousand dollars in fucking. Um, like bro, I'm like the car is worth thirty. Why don't y'all just total it and I'm yeah. done with the car? But the insurance covered it, and then they didn't fix it all the way, so I had to pay extra. Or I think she broke it again. I don't know what the fuck happened. But yeah. I had to pay extra to get it fixed. She missed the fucking payment, so there's another three k to fix it. Another band for the missed car payments, and then I don't even know what this car is worth anymore because she crashed it and shit. So it's been draining my pockets. Yeah. Low key, like if anybody is supposed to be getting money, it's supposed to be me. Like yeah. pay me back those fucking two car car payments you missed. So, yeah, she goes on the internet saying I owe her fucking money when in reality her broke ass just goes to the club and spends money on bottles. And look, man, if money was a thing, bro, I would put money in her pocket all day. Yeah. You know sound promos, right? Sound like, promo? Where, like, where you get paid to... um, um Put a sound on TikTok? Like, to use a sound on TikTok, yeah. right? Bro, like... And it takes, what, 30 seconds to make a lip yeah, sync yeah. video? Bro, I would give her those, like, three of them, a band each, 3K, in one day. Make these three TikToks. Doesn't fucking do them. Doesn't lazy, bro. Like, how, I can't help you if you don't want to help yourself. Exactly. Like, I put you on to make money, and you don't want to make money. I don't want to be with somebody that doesn't want to make money. Yeah. So your whole mindset was that you wanted to continue grinding, build your empire, and, yes. and her mindset was kind of like in the party. Have life. a kid, bro. Her mindset was to have a kid. And so look, down. now that you mentioned that, so we'll have here the whole if if you feel comfortable talking about the whole situation because I think you mentioned about a miscarriage. Yeah. So how how did you feel about that? Or how did you find out about that? Or if you could give some details, if you feel comfortable. No, yeah. Um, damn. So like, it is a sensitive topic because we're talking about life here. And yeah, shit. yeah. Um, and I'll I'll be more calm on this situation for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, because I know there's a lot of females watching this shit. But um, so look, man. Um, I find it very crazy that uh, me and her went um, 
that long without having a kid. Yeah. Because I, you know, whatever, we was pretty. You did a little minx. Right. Um, but we was that long with no kid. Okay. It happened to be that when we broke up, I guess, because I, I guess I slipped up, you know what I'm saying? My yeah, blood yeah, game yeah. wasn't that good. Um, she got pregnant. And I, I was already going to go to L.A., um, and there was like a slight chance that she might be pregnant. She was like, I got a test. I don't really remember if she told me or not, but she was just kind of like, I might be. And I was like, all right, well, I don't know if you are. Whatever. I come to LA, me and her are done. Like we're not really talking this shit, but, yeah. she, but um, I'm at Coachella and bro, there's, I don't know if you, you've been to Coachella. Yeah, I know. Bro, saying. it's like fucking, there's not that much signal. I'm over here enjoying the festival and shit. Yeah. And she's trying to call me and text me and shit. I'm like, bro, I'm busy. Like, I'm doing shit. Yeah. And I guess at the time, um, she had, or I think she was pregnant. I don't fucking remember. Yeah. But at, the point is, this bitch was pregnant. I'm like, this girl was pregnant. <laughs> and <laughs> this girl was pregnant, bro, but going out every fucking night, bro. Every yeah. literally Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, bro. Every night. Like drinking? Drinking. drinking yeah. Bro, hookah, all that shit. So if you're fucking pregnant, bro, obviously your baby's gonna fucking like pass, bro. If yeah. you're not taking care of it. Exactly. And back to the whole thing, like, um, her whole mindset, like, her goal in life is to have a kid, which is like good, but like, bro, you're yeah. young. You haven't fucking traveled. You haven't done shit. You haven't like done all this life shit yet. Like, yeah. there's a lot to experience, and you just want to get straight to having a kid. Like for me, it just didn't make sense, and that's what I mean. Like me and her just had different goals and priorities and morals and shit. Yeah. So, um, my goal was to, you know, grind, and hers was to have a kid. And uh, at the end of the relationship, she did get pregnant. And uh, the baby passed because uh, she was partying and shit. And just, I just think that shows, like, how irresponsible that person was and why I couldn't Yeah. Be. And, you know, I hate airing it out, but it's a fact. And so how did you feel initially when you found out, though? Were you, were you excited or, like, were you already ready? Well, I was Do you kinda, think you were ready or you weren't ready to be a father? To be honest, time? bro, I mean, I think I, I, I thought I was ready, bro. I was yeah. already paying all the bills. Like, I was already, like... I was basically raising a kid myself. Yeah. Like, with her. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, uh, what's it called? Was I ready, bro? I told. I forgot what we talked about. I don't even know. I think I was ready. Yeah. Um. But uh, it was kind of shocking when she said she lost it. Like I was like, damn, like, cause it was like from one day, like I think I'm pregnant, to the next day, oh, I lost it. Um. But I think everything happened for a reason, bro. Yeah. Like I. I don't know. I, I think uh, if God wanted me to have that kid, I would yeah. have had that kid. You yeah. Know? So I just put everything in God's hands. So my next question: What's the whole beef with Rosa and Bree? Let's get into. Let's switch it up a little bit. <laughs> Let me switch. Um, the page. I want to make a, a a quick quick <laughs> disclaimer, man. Yeah. Um, so me and Bree have always been friends. Um, uh, before before I knew her, like. I knew Bree whenever I first ever came to LA type shit. So like longer than her, three mm -hmm. years type shit. But she was in LA, I was in Texas, so we all just now hung out. What's the beef between them? I really don't know why they got Because I, I saw some live where they were like going, or she was going yeah. at it with her. I think because you guys were drunk, no? Yeah, but I don't know why they got beef. But like, I think, um, I just think my ex didn't like any girl that i was friends with in the past like any girl like yeah. just even if they was my friend because she just she just automatically thought i fucked them which i feel like i mean i get it but like damn like you gonna hate every girl like i was yeah. friends with a lot of girls like especially i'm in la we're all influencers we all work we all do our thing yeah. how you gonna not like every girl i'm friends with yeah so that's just another example of a girl she didn't like because i was friends with her before her and uh she never liked her and I feel like uh, something happened. Like, I guess some words got exchanged and shit. And they was DMing, talking shit. So whenever we broke up, I was like, all right, I'm going back to L.A. I'm going to hang out with my old friends. And uh, me and Bree hung out. And uh, that's when we were being petty and doing yeah, back yeah, and yeah. forth on the internet and shit. So it just... On that Casamigos, huh? Yeah. And then, <laughs> obviously, um, I mean, I went viral. You know, that's yeah. what I did. I went live and we talked our shit. And yeah, but... Now nah, me and Bree are cool, and uh, so what's your relationship? My next question: Your relationship with Bree now? You guys are cool? Uh, yeah, we're cool. We don't really talk too much, but we're we're cool. Yeah, okay. we'll always be solid, you know. Okay, so my next question: I'm moving it on a little bit. Uh, what's the whole relationship with Shadi Bay? Because a lot of people have been seeing you, been hanging out, and yeah. she recently came out and said that she was pregnant. You're not the dad, right? Uh, damn, bro, she's pregnant. Well, allegedly, right? <laughs> I, I, maybe she's joking. Maybe what she's joking. Fuck, I just want to make sure you're not the daddy. 
Nah, I ain't, bro. I, I don't be fucking for free, bro. For real? I only fuck on OnlyFans. Okay, but what's your relationship with Shadi? Because a lot of people were saying, a lot of my questions were saying, are you using Shadi or, or what's the yeah. whole... All right, I'll get into the whole Shadi thing. I, I've been wanting to address this for a while, yeah, actually. Yeah. So, um, right when the drama was happening, the way social media works is, like, all the girls are going to be on, on, on all each other's sides, right? Like, yeah. girls support girls, which I get. Like, I respect it. Yeah. But I just find it weird, like, like girls is going to cut me off or people is not going to talk to me because of issues that I'm having with my ex. Like, why do my issues, my personal issues with my ex affect, like, mine and your yeah, friendship? Yeah, yeah, friendships. Right? So, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I had so many people that... They would be cool with me in real life. And then on the internet, they was like, not fucking with me. Like, they didn't yeah. want to, like, just act like I'm a fucking weirdo or some yeah. shit. Um, it's just unfollowing us. Um, and she was one of the ones that, that was... And she was one of the ones that didn't. And, and, and I'm going to say this, too, about Shadi, which I respect, too. Because mm -hmm. she's pretty cool with me, too. Mm -hmm. And I like that about her, that, like, mm -hmm. she doesn't really care that much. Like, right. she kind of has her own mindset her mm -hmm. own opinion about everybody so I, exactly. I really i mess with shoddy too because she's pretty cool but there you go bro like it's exactly that bro she showed loyalty she sh especially when i was really down bad bro i yeah. had the whole world like i mean not the whole world but a lot I had, of people against you bro I, everybody bro like literally dms every like it was super you know so you know drama yeah so everybody was against me because you're a villain exactly i was yeah. a villain everybody every every everybody and she was the only one that like took time to actually hear my side of the story mm -hmm. and you know what i'm saying still like kind of messed with me and supported me and yeah. gave me a chance and i really respect that and i feel like that's very rare and i mean obviously she's just really real so you know i'm gonna reciprocate the same energy that yeah. i got she took care of me i'm gonna take care of her now like now that we both live in la yeah and, um how often do you see her um i'm actually supposed to hang out with her today i think for real but, uh we okay. both be traveling and shit she'd be doing her her events and shit yeah, at the yeah. clubs i've gone to a few of them like we always party together it's kind of crazy me and her only for a while would only hang out at the club oh really um yeah but um we'll talk on the phone here and there she's hella busy you know? yeah so and i'm hella i'm sure busy she, she has her own events. exactly yeah. exactly so um, but me and her, like I said, we're good friends. I, we went to San Diego. We got a boat and shit. Like, I like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I really like treating girls. Like, like, I really like, like, doing fun shit with them that other dudes can't. Like, for example, renting a yacht or fucking yeah. the other girl, Jersey. We went on a fucking helicopter. Like, bro, I like doing shit. But, like, and not I, every guy can do. Exactly. I feel you. And, and that sucks because some girls be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're not used to it. Exactly. But for me, it's like, I just like doing fun shit with people that I trust and yeah. feel comfortable with. And Just recently, too, I'm going to bring this up, too, because something that bothered me. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you saw I did an interview recently with, like, another family. It was this girl. But I gave her an Xbox for her kids. Right. And all the comments were like, oh, my God, like, you want to get her, you know, getting her pants. You want to do this? But mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, there's guys that are out there that exist where you can do a good deed. Mm -hmm. Like, me and you, that we make money, you know right. what I'm saying? Not, not a brag or anything, but... We can do this good deed and mm -hmm. and not expect anything, anything out of return, it. Yeah, yeah. So and just have me, a good time, good vibes. Right. It feels good to make somebody else happy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know. I just like like you like you said. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Doing, Doing something different that they never have exactly. done. Maybe like yeah. There's a lot of you know. I just like giving people experiences too. Like shit you haven't done. Like let's go here. Let's go. Yeah. Here. Um, make memories, you know, rather than just buying them. I don't know, a little fucking, a little, a little bag, a little yeah, fucking. yeah, like flowers that are gonna fucking die and yeah. they're not gonna remember them. Yeah, like, I don't know, like I'm just different. Okay, so look, this one's a uh, uh, controversial one. You can see the name right here. Yeah, I see her. So what happened with Emily? The whole situation with the bad wiggies, Emily. Wait. No, you should go home. Why can't I go to sleep? You should go home. There's no way you're close to a fucking bitch, bro. What the fuck is wrong? Why can't I go Do you really want to be embarrassed like this? No, bro. What's your go home? Leave. Leave. I'm not scared. Leave. And, I'm, and I kind of got into some sort of understanding with it where you were kind of really wasted is what I'm understanding. Yeah. And I know when people yeah. black out and, you know, they don't have no recollection of what's yeah. going on. But if you want to give your side now or maybe Shit. after the fact or, or what, what, what was your I really thing? don't want uh, drama with her or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Because to be honest, bro, I really don't know her. Like, we really didn't yeah. exchange two words and shit. Um, you just saw the clip? Yeah. <laughs> um, But obviously, we went to the to the Quinte and we all Tessa's, got... Tessa's, right? Yeah. Okay. We all got super lit. Um, and I was already staying there. I was actually at their house. Um, I was with my friend. She invited me. She's like, yo, you can come stay days before. We can get your suit in there. Because I didn't have anything. Yeah. Um, so Were I you was, like a chambelan? Or are you just there? No, no, no. Yeah, I was just kind of there like okay. with them, with the family and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, talking to them, hanging out. So I was already there. Like I was, 
I had more reason to be there than she than did. Her. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's why I was kind of like, how are you going to tell me to get the fuck out when I've been staying here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what power do you have to tell me to leave? I was already there for like three days. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, I really, the internet didn't know that. I feel like that matters a lot because like, I was sleeping. Like someone who just came there is keeping yeah, you out. Exactly, bro. Okay. Like, what the fuck? So we got super lit. And uh, I was vibing with everybody, but the only person that I didn't talk to was her. Mm -hmm. um, like the whole night? Yeah. Okay. And I just didn't, like, I don't know, I just didn't want to talk to her. Yeah. And randomly, she comes up to me, and she's like, oh, we need to have a talk. And I was like, the fuck are we going to talk yeah. about? I don't fucking know you. I don't remember what the fuck we talked about. Uh -huh. um, How did you find out about all this then, since... Cause you, I remember that though, I, okay. cause it was, it, bro. I was because like, you remember some things, right? I remember yeah. some, but like, bro, that's hella random. A girl coming up to you and telling you we need to talk. Yeah, like, like only about, only you, time yeah. I've ever been told that is like Rosa, my, Rosa. exactly <laughs> like we need to talk type <laughs> shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you my yeah. girlfriend? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so whatever that happens, and I I don't remember what we talked about. And then I think I was already. It was the night was winding down. I was laying in the bed, and I think um, I think a. I'm sure you asked around too, because when you know when I get you know, see the thing is times... nobody wanted to tell me what the fuck happened that night. Oh, really? I still don't know what the fuck happened that night. Really, like, and people be lying and shit too. So whatever, I really don't give a fuck about that night. Yeah, but um, bro, I really don't know why me and her got beef though. Like I don't know what happened. I I think I don't. I think I know I said some disrespectful shit, but yeah. I'm not gonna repeat what I said. But I, like obviously I was drunk. You talking shit to me, you disrespecting me, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna say some shit back to you. You know what I'm saying? And you're yeah. not gonna like it, um, especially trying to kick me out of somewhere I'm supposed to be and making me look like. And for me, one thing I want to make a disclaimer: I feel like it's very weird. And like if you hate somebody so much, I don't think you would go out, post them on your own page, mm -hmm. give them more publicity, and type a whole fucking paragraph. I mean, I'm pretty sure you yeah, saw yeah, She I typed saw a it. paragraph and posted a whole video about me. Decided to take out her phone and record me. Like, to me, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to have no conspiracy or anything. Yeah. But that's just a lot to do for one individual that, like, really. Yeah. That you. Especially, like, at a party, I feel like. Exactly. You, know, you guys should, like. I mean, even if it's. A, an inf I don't know how influencer parties work. Because mm -hmm. I don't really go to nah, all that. Like, I try to avoid all that. Yeah. But I feel like nobody should be recording at especially, the end of the day especially and everybody's drunk bro and yeah. you decided to target me like mm -hmm. you, the whole night we weren't tar talking and then you come up to me you know what i'm saying like i don't know why me why yeah. why are you so why are your eyes on me does that make sense yeah. like if i don't mean that much to you or i don't i don't know i just find it very weird that she was uh picking on me yeah well hopefully i mean maybe she'll come out and say well what you did we'll see but oh see the thing is though like that's that's in the past like that's yeah, no it's dead. in the past i don't i don't I don't even want to like I don't want to live through that right again. I don't want to like whatever happened happened like I'm not trying to be friends with her yeah that we're not gonna be friends in the future like it just happened we disagreed whatever we were both drunk everybody was drunk yeah so we just gonna move on from it okay like, that's that. that's something that I wouldn't want to okay open and up. then uh another another question here what, what do you prefer more LA or Texas what, what's what do you what do you like more at this point um, at this point of view, <laughs> at this point of view LA is good for work um, but I do think Texas got some better girls. I ain't for real? Yeah, I think the girls are. Would you say the girls out there are more stuck up? Um, more into like the social, like the, the like. Yeah, crowd, no? yeah, it is more social dynamics and shit, like the social structure. Yeah. Um, I just think the girls are better though, like actually better. Like me, I like Latina girls, so like, I don't know, I like the girls there and shit. And, yeah. And I think the food is better in Texas. Um, but LA, the weather is beautiful. Yeah. I love to fucking work. Um, just the environment, like I don't know. I think your environment. It's always like work, work, work. Exactly, no? and it's just beautiful, bro. Like I mean, obviously today it's raining and shit, but I yeah. wake up and a bad day in LA is like, bro. At least I'm in LA. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I live in Hollywood and shit, so it's, it's okay. Good vibes. And then my last question to wrap it up: What started your OF? Like, what, what got you? What started to, my OF? Like, what what got you into that? Because it's pretty bold to move on to that. You know what I'm saying? So what got I mean, you into that? which I respect. There's too, a lot of things. So like, bro, I feel like I've already. This might sound bad, but I mean, I did TikTok already. Like, I mean, I did what I did on there. I know what that's like. Yeah. I did YouTube. I made my good money on YouTube. I know what that's like. Um, and then I started podcasting a little bit. But for me, it was like, I want to do some new shit. Like, yeah. And I mean, for me, I've always been controversial. I'm the villain. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's just my thing. That's so, why I saw when you were on my TikTok live, I say, you're a villain, I'm a villain. We, yeah. we got to set this up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So for me, it was like, I'm already a villain. Everybody already hates me. What am I going to lose for yeah. doing all this? And for me, I've always been like a highly sexual person. Like, I be... Begin your minx. Yeah, we always be... What is minx? Minx is like, you get your... It's basically... I ain't going to say... I'm going to blur this out, but...
Okay, yeah, okay. So I, I like to say I like to say mink. I like that word. I like that word. But now, nah, yeah, I mean, now I don't. Now, yeah. I, like, like I said, man, I don't be fucking for free, bro. I okay. only fuck on like if I'm gonna collaborations. Get paid. Only if I'm gonna get paid, bro. I don't be doing that shit for free. Bro. Okay. Um, but what's it called? So I was already the villain. Why not fucking do it? Um, and I remember I made my. Own when I was for my birth, like on my birthday, I was in Miami and I was like, I'm doing this shit. Yeah. And I have a good team around me too. Um, I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't around my team. It's the same team that does the podcast and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we all like work a lot, and my roommate does only. So it's just kind of. That one guy with the hat. I was kind of doing a little mm -hmm. research on that mm -hmm. on your podcast. That's him. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Brandon. What about the other guy? That. I think he had some sort of like drama that he was hitting girls at. at a yeah, point, yeah. Right? Now nah, he's an influencer. Now nah, he's not part of the podcast. Oh, okay. okay yeah, okay. he's just a guest. Okay. Um, okay. Um, but now, nah, man, I love him. Yeah. And I feel like every day as shit goes on and on and on, I feel like more people. It's only yeah, only more people gonna make them. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Would you ever see yourself <laughs> collabing with Shadi or no? Shit. If she if she was up for it and the bag was there, would you ever see yourself with Shadi? Hey man, anything can happen. Okay. Anything can happen, you know. <laughs> but look, if she I mean, look, I thought she was a virgin though, like what hey, the, the fuck? Hey, the way she makes a scene on her TikTok live, that rose toys be going in half or, or something. Damn, bro. But look, that, that was all the questions that I do have today. Um, you know, I appreciate you for coming. You kept mm -hmm. it real. You know what I'm saying? You're, sure. you're giving your side of the story. Sure. Um, is there anything else you kind of want to finalize with or kind of give like a, a final conclusion with? Or what would you say? So, some some people don't get like a misinterpretation about you. Damn. Um, I don't know, man. I don't think I'm a villain. I just think people need to hear me out and hear my side of the story. I always try to help everybody and... I'm a businessman. I want everybody to win and shit. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like I don't voice my opinion enough so people know my side of the story, which yeah. is my fault. But it's just like, I don't feel like I need to go on live prove every, myself yeah. to everybody. Like, And I feel like a lot of people get their validation from the internet, mm -hmm. like their self-worth, like how they feel, like to make them feel good. Like if all the comments are praising them, then they think they're doing something good in life. Yeah. And for me, it's like, I, I feel myself. I don't need that. The validation from, from the online. internet. Yeah. And I think that's a big thing. Like, um, on why people are the way they act and shit. So for me, if I'm either the the loved on the internet or hated, I'm still gonna be me. Still so gonna do your thing. Exactly. Okay. But we yeah, we on our new shit. We're doing the podcast. Um, only shit. I am gonna be coming back to TikTok and shit soon. Uh, YouTube. I just kind of wanna reinvent myself. Okay. Work myself. Like level up your own. Yeah, yourself. level up my, okay. me and my life. Like I live here now. Like bro, I already yeah. leveled up from Houston. Like I leveled up. Like I've been doing what I wanted to do. You know. Yeah. Even in the whole back to the whole living with my ex and shit we were supposed to move to la yeah um and then um we broke up and shit but either way we were gonna move to la so la's always been in the the mindset exactly and now i'm here so okay now well, time to conquer this shit and keep that's going what's up. Uh, alrighty then i hope you guys did enjoy this video is keeping it real right here with julian the barbarian sure. you know what i'm saying and if he doesn't mind being called julian the barbarian i better not see no comments talking about oh you call him julian the barbarian you know what i'm saying nah, i love that shit you. man look i already got hella nicknames bro yeah, i got yeah. buttercup i buttercup. got but they come up with all this shit they call me homeless like they call me hella shit so. yeah another name is not gonna hurt bro for sure so make sure you uh, drop a like subscribe to the channel and i really do appreciate you guys for staying tuned to the channel peace